Salem was born at 11.59 p.m. on April 7th, 2011 via C-section and his sister was brought into the world just a minute later. Caleb had two rescue breaths upon delivery and they both got flu by oxygen and were in the NICU for about 10 days. Caleb was a little bit bigger than his sister and developing a lot quicker than she was until about nine months old. We went in for their nine month old check and noticed he had started falling off the growth chart. So we went back at a year and he had not grown at all, either in height or weight. The doctor ran a basic blood workup and it came back very off, kind of across the board. So she consulted with a doctor out of Salt Lake and we got referred to a GI specialist out of Billings, Montana. And then we got referred to a geneticist out of Helena, Montana that ran some additional genetic workups and we discovered he has a very rare genetic deletion. We knew that it would affect him to some extent, but because his symptoms were so multi-systemic, we knew that it was something more than just the deletion. And that ultimately led us to Dr. Snedo at Seattle Children's Hospital. He immediately recognized a lot of the symptoms that had been very concerning for us. And it was the very first time that we'd ever heard the words mitochondrial disorder. We had no idea what it meant and we had a whole bunch of questions. <laughs> so it was the first time that we kind of started having answers about what was going on with our son, which was thrilling and exciting and absolutely terrifying at the same time. So Dr. Sanito gave us an emergency protocol. Uh, we started seeing our local pediatrician and uh, we gave them a copy and everything. And about two weeks after we got it, we actually landed back in the hospital. And within 12 hours of enacting his emergency protocol, we were out of the hospital and he was back to his normal self. Unfortunately, it was only the start of kind of a crazy spring. He spiraled into having about five different viral things back to back. We just kind of couldn't keep him eating and hydrated and taking his medications and really doing anything orally, he was so exhausted. We ended up talking with Dr. Snado and his team and they recommended he be evaluated for a G-tube and that's really when things started to progress in a positive way for him. He started growing like crazy. It was about a pound a week after he got his G-tube. We got into a much better place with everything for him and not landing in the hospital as often anymore. He has grown from the below the second percentile on growth to over the 85th percentile. He was running around like crazy, growing like crazy. Tackled his sister for the first time and yeah. she didn't know what to think about that. Yeah. Anytime his energy gets low, his autonomic system doesn't work properly. And so you would think it would be the same symptoms every time, but it's not. So they include anything from low body temperatures to high body temperatures to flushing, sweating, he goes unconscious. He's had the myoclonic jerks. He had an episode last fall where he became completely paralyzed on the left side of his body. It's heartbreaking as a parent to see your child struggling so much and knowing there's not a magical cure you can give them to take all the pain away, especially with minor kids. Each kid is so different that there isn't a manual they can really hand you and say this is what to look for, this is what to expect. You kind of have to build it over time. How old are you? Three. <laughs> yeah, Mama. Three. Yeah, you are three. Good job. What's your favorite color? Um, Gosha. Dinosaur. <laughs> we recently relocated to the Seattle area in January of this year to be closer to Seattle Children's Hospital and Caleb's mitochondrial team. We don't have answers for what Caleb's future is going to look like, much less what his needs medically will be. I wish we could say that he's constant and this is what it is and these are his symptoms and this is what to expect and when this happens you do this. But it's not. It's not at all. As parents, you have children and you have all these hopes and dreams of all of these things they're going to do and all the places they're going to be able to go see and I think we've stopped putting expectations on the future for him because he's perfect just the way he is and our goal is to give him the very best childhood we possibly can. All we want for him is to be happy. <laughs> yeah.